It's been three years, three years since Brooks released The Catamount. Now I finally hold in my hands The Catamount 2. The Catamount is made for ultra marathons. You can go hundreds of miles all at once. The original Catamount was a personal favorite of mine for its lightweight and responsiveness. In the past, Brooks collaborated with pro ultra runner Scott Jurek on the Cascadia. The shoe is now on its 16th iteration. Now it's more hiking mountain shoe or cushioned running shoe. The Catamount is meant for racing ultras. Running in the Catamount, you feel nimble on your toes. It's slimmer and more lightweight, and you can go hundreds of miles all at the same time. Like Brooks' other shoes on the road, it has DNA flash foam, the same foam that is used in Brooks' racing shoes, the Hyperion Elite and Hyperion Tempo. DNA flash foam is nitrogen infused, making it give you a more responsive ride. Compared to DNA Loft, which is in Brooks' cushiest shoes like the Glycerin, the shoe is slightly firmer, but just cushioned enough to go hundreds of miles. Unlike the first version, this catamount has a carbon fiber plate. The plate inside the Catamount 2 is called Sky Vault. What it does is propel you forward just like any other old carbon fiber plate in a racing shoe. Carbon fiber plates have been popping up in a lot of trail shoes, including Hoka's Tecton X, Saucony's Endorphin Edge, and the North Face's Flight Effective. And now that club includes the Catamount 2. The plate also doubles as a rock shield to help protect you if you come across debris while running on the trail. The catamount also has a hydrophobic upper, so you won't absorb water when you run through creeks or puddles. It also has a gator attachment. I mentioned the shoe is lightweight. It is 9.4 ounces for men and 7.7 .7 for women. It's offset is six millimeters, which is the same as the original catamount. My favorite feature is the Trail Tech rubber outsole. I ran on Stone Mountain in Georgia, where it was especially steep. People were slipping and sliding on wet patches of rock. I wore the Calderas, which have the same Trail Talk outsole, and I didn't slip once. The lugs aren't pronounced, which makes it a good hybrid shoe, so you can run it on the trail and on the road. Because the lugs are spaced out, I had no pebbles or clumps of dirt get stuck while I was running. You also feel secure on uneven terrain. When I hit the pavement, it honestly felt like any other road shoe. Another reason why this shoe feels great for going long distance is because of its fit and its breathability. Your feet don't feel like they're suffocating no matter how long you run. The Catamount 2 has a slight price increase going from 160 to 170, but that is still a bargain buy compared to other carbon fiber play trail shoes, which are usually 200 or above. The Catamount 2 is my favorite trail shoe. I would even call it the Hyperion Catamount, putting it in the same category as Brooks' other racing shoes. Let us know what you think. Would you wear a carbon fiber plate on the trail? Leave a comment below. D do you want me to like see more? <laughs> Blah 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 blah